uh, it was a, it was a good first day for us. But uh, you know, you never uh, in, in coaching. You know, Jason's a great, great guy, great friend, and uh, you certainly uh, hate that uh, that the, the score is up uh, lopsided. I'm not sure exactly. I told him afterwards. I'm not sure what it, what exactly I could have done differently. But he was great. Uh, but. Uh, Man, to, to be excited about for all of our young kids to get in and make plays and uh, to see them enjoying the game of football, man, it's a, it's a grind in this game. And to see guys get to do that, it's, it's quite rewarding. So I'm really happy that uh, all of them could get in and, and uh, get some quality minutes we we'll needed uh, as the season goes on for sure. I know all the quarterbacks did some good things. Chad started, played a lot of, played a lot of the series. I mean, how would you assess his performance? Looks like a couple good throws. Uh, I thought it was really solid. Um, missed, a, missed a touchdown throw to Evan and probably uh, could have thrown one a little bit better on the fade to uh, Laquan early on in the game. Outside of that, I thought, uh, like I don't remember, uh, tight end dropped one on the third down, Laquan dropped one. That uh, I thought were decent throws, good reads. Thought he had a solid day, um, you know. So look forward to watching the film, but, but felt pretty good about it out there. You can you tell us what you know about Laramie's status moving forward? Uh, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I'm not privy to uh, to basically any information on that. Um, so. Um, just uh, I know that, uh, that that our university is uh, cooperates with the process uh, in any of these situations fully, but uh, um, I'm not privy to uh, any of that information. I have no idea. Uh, how's the status of some of the players who got hurt during the game? Uh, you have Timmy who got hurt. I don't remember any. Uh, I didn't know that. I don't. I don't. I think we're all good. Just correct as well. Raise your hand. Hey, coach, how great uh, is it to have a guy like Robert and DT who can play both sides of the football? Um, Robert's a tremendous athlete, and um, you know, anytime we can use the kids that within our team to help us. Be successful. We're going to try to do that. And Robert's uh, certainly one of those guys that can help you in a lot of areas. Coach, how did you feel about McCormick when he first came back? I thought he was just average. I mean, he looked explosive. It was really good to see him get tackled and bounce back up. <coughs> and you just got to get to some more plays. Really, I probably am, I probably have done him an injustice in preparing him because I've been probably a bit overprotective. And, uh, and now now I think this will help in these first few games get back in the flow totally. So I'll, I'll take the responsibility for any of the, uh, the, the, the maybe the in, in, in an insufficient play, if he has any, it's probably my fault that I just, I haven't let him go in, against contact a lot. I would take questions from the top of the room. You uh, on the running game, you talk about Jalen Walton, his development, his play today. What did you like most about it? Well, the, I don't think he had many carries. I don't know how many he had, but he's, he's got the big playability. We talk about explosive plays in our offense, which I think in this league, if you're not able to create some explosive plays, you're going to have a hard time offensively. It's just, it's almost impossible to consistently drive the length of the field on the SEC defenses. And so you need some explosive plays. and. Jalen has that ability as he showed today on, on just a few touches he had. So was there anything like going into this game you said, all right, you guys are going to get X amount of snaps for quarterbacks, or was it just the way Kelly went out there and just played and you just felt comfortable just with giving him the snaps and mixing it up? Well, I, was, I would certainly say that uh, it had, had something to do with their play. I've said all along, I sometimes believe that uh, the media doesn't believe me when I say that I think I like things about all three of our guys. and. Um, and, and I meant that, and I didn't see anything today that really changed my mind. Um, but, I mean, had Chad went out early and, and played rattled or, or made bad reads, yeah, that would have affected uh, uh, the rotation some. Uh, but, but he didn't, and you know, he's, 
seem pretty composed. Q, uh, what's the first impression of the way of your uh, play of your interior line? Offensively. The play of the interior line. Yes, now, it's really hard for me to see from ground level on the sideline. Um, I'd have to, I'm going to have to watch the film. Um, you know, we had some explosive runs. I don't know if it's because the defense fit it wrong or our backs made great runs or if our line really blocked uh, efficiently. So I'll, I'll have to watch that. It's really hard to say that from, from being, being on the sideline. We'll take one more. All right, Coach, can you just touch on the uh, touchdown play that you guys wrote for him? Um, it's just a little power pass. I mean, we, we got in the heavy set and, you know, when watching film, felt like they were going to bring edge pressure and, and go man coverage. And a lot of times when you when you bring that much pressure and uh, you're playing man coverage, somebody from the backfield can slide out and, and be open, and, and he was. And, uh, I was messing with Rob after he, he scored that uh, said he almost tried to step out of bounds on purpose, it looked like. He, he ran so far, as far to the sideline, but that was pretty funny. His mom was here today, who I love dearly, and uh, uh, she doesn't get to come to many games because she's a government official over in Nigeria, but uh, she was here today, so that was, that was kind of for her more than him, probably. Again, without watching the film, what was your impression of some of the freshmen, the Lodge or, or Woods, or some the way that they kind of responded? Um, Zedrick was feeling his way around a little bit, seemed like. I think Javon played pretty solid. Lodge, you know, only got one ball thrown his way, but did pretty good, I think. I couldn't see it. I couldn't tell if he had to go up and battle for it or if it was, I don't know. But, you know, he, he made his first touchdown, and uh, so did D.K. Buford, and those are those fun times for those kids. The player now, you started Sean Ball in the right tackle. You know, again, I watched the film, but we were impressed. Same thing, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we didn't give up a sack, and uh, uh, we had some explosive runs, and um, you know, we were fairly balanced, it looks like, uh, 338, 324, so uh, I'm going to say he did it adequate, if not really good, or I don't know, but I don't think he played poorly. Um, but it's really hard to for me to tell. Well, he's our, he's our second right tackle, and now uh, we move on to left. And next man up, you know, you got you to go. So uh, I'm glad we have him. When you decided to run tempo, were you pleased with the way the quarterback handled it? Man, we never got, uh, I, I did tell our coaches, I just, you know, our goal today was 90 plays. And I think we got 64, so we were way off. Uh, now, could we have gotten 90? Yes. but. Um, I was a little disappointed, not disappointed, but we just didn't have, we had so many big plays, you never had a 10 play drive in tempo to really see it, to see how well we were doing that. That's kind of my feel. I just didn't, I never felt like we had that drive where uh, we, were, we were in tempo and getting consecutive first downs. Do you want to comment on uh, C.J. Hampton, C.J. Johnson, their status? Yeah, those, those are, are just my decisions of, um, you know, I love our players. We have to hold them accountable, and sometimes, even you know, when a when a young kid, you make a mistake, and it may go as far back to the last spring last year. Um, but uh, you, when when you say that you you're going to do something as a coach, you try to you know, stick to it. So those are those are just in the house issues. One um, game. Pretty confident. That's it. I, 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 I'm pretty confident. I know in I know in CJ uh, Johnson's case that's it. Are you any questions? All right, thank you, coach. Thanks, guys.